Hey, pre-notification gang. A mock tonight? I won't be running it, but the competition ends tonight, so I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on the top three. The top, I think we're going to see some, some big fucking runs here in the last, what, three hours? Oh, I know all about Jeremy Do It. Thanks, Arisa, Generic, and Cameron. This, this, Jesus, this was like five seconds off first. I know. I saw. Thanks, the recent penguin. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk at the, talk about the Last of Us reviews. Look at Logan's tweets. Yeah, I saw him. How long's left on AMOC? Three hours. There's a tier one Filkso, tier one glass of strawberry milk, and the prime sea crow or sea cow. There's the resub cockroach and wolverine. Do you like red jumpsuit apparatus? Man, what year is it? I do. Like, I still listen to their old songs. I haven't listened to anything new from them if they're still around. But yeah, I used to like them. And some of their songs still slap, like Fake It and uh, Face Down. There's Risa Breifel. Thanks, Risa Parks. Narisa Milkman. Where do I get Godslap? Godslapbook.com. Thanks, Narisa. Kate, Chris, and the Prime Lidl. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nico, again for the 10k bits. <laughs> Thank you again. I, I'm telling you, next time I do Roblox Night, I will try it. Thanks to Tier 1 Mesh. It's, it's still right here. I've still got it queued. I just haven't played Roblox in like two months. Bad game night, or you already got a plan? Already got a plan. Tonight's the end of our 10k competition, so... At least until midnight, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on AMOC, but we're going to be going over some topics and doing some goofy shit in the meantime. There's the resub redacted Milan, Mom's Milkies, and the Prime Alzorn, and the Bits Dave and McFly, and the resub Wi Fi. <clears throat> Channel 5 admitted the allegations were true. Don't tell me that. I saw like a vague tweet about it. I don't remember who it was. I think it was H3H3. I don't remember. That, that'd be very fucking sad. But like I said yesterday, with all those allegations, it was not looking good. Thanks to Tier 1 Ashton, Tier 1 Georgia, the resub Tanner, Yapu, and the, G the, the 10k bits again, Nico. No, I, so I don't usually plan out, like, unless it's a brand new release or something, but Roblox is one I usually just kind of go on on a whim. So it's hard to say. But it's usually like a smorgasbord of games. God, 
God damn, though, Nico. Thank you. I don't find video games fun anymore. What do I do? I mean, there's nothing wrong with you, man. Maybe you just, you're tired of games. Like, that's totally natural. Fine. Find another hobby that you're passionate about. Maybe it's basketball. Watch Luca go to work and get inspired. I don't know. Thanks for five gift subs. Mesh. And the resub. Dragon fucker. Gaming guy. Freeze. Gene. Lele. Rhino. Sierra. And the five gift subs. Hayden. Thank you for that. You're right. I forgot about uh, Ant-Man. I know the trailer came out. These are some Nicholas and the Prime Sawbones, Cyric and the Bits Schlacken. Yeah, here's hoping Schlacken. Hopefully they don't get you. Hey Coder, your tournament ends tonight, right? Yep, three hours. There's three hours left on Amok. Right now, I believe the only difference is Distortion is in second place. So it's Zach, Distortion, and Ouija. But there's still three hours to go. And so the reason I'm talking about top three is because the top runners came together and said that they'd really like if it was split instead of just 10k to first. So it'll be 6k to first, 2.5k to second, and 1.5k to third, as opposed to just like lump sum to first. Is it tier one? Riot, tier one goblin, the five gift subs booty call, and the 10k bits again, Nico. It, I, so I've played a lot of Roblox games. I think the most complicated one I've ever played is Doors, but the way you're selling this one makes me feel like it's some kind of crazy AAA Roblox title. That'll be fun. Really appreciate the generosity though, Nico. Jesus Christ, man. Distortion said he's third. No, his time, I think, is second. Didn't he get a, uh, fuck, what was it, like a 25-39? I think it was five seconds behind first, so he, he should be second, I think. It was a 25-38. Yes, that's second place, because Ouija's is a 25-42. He's a tier one. Hello and the resub Isaac. Twice. Moot. And the 10 gift subs help stuck in silver. Thank you for the big drop, man. The prime Xavier. And the resub Geo. Jack. Hidden. Mustache. Doug. Dog. Dyslexic. Mongoloid. And the bits cake. And the gift sub bugs. And the resub mammoth. Yeah, Luca's got me into watching basketball again, man. I don't even know what it is. His game is just fun. Like, he's not the only player I really like watching, but for like Luca is just so efficient. I was talking to Matt about this. When Luca plays basketball, it's like the most fundamental shit ever. Like, I I've never seen Luca play, and I've been like, whoa, that was the flashiest shit imaginable. Like, he doesn't do any and one kind of things, like back in like crazy handles, wild drives. It's just like so fucking fundamentally sound. It's unreal. And it works incredibly well. Is there some monk, Bob, Randy, and the gifts of vampire and the bits, Tom? And things the resub Clementine. The teams Luca on Mavericks. Is it tier one bugs? And the resub Condor and OSM. Oh, we'll be getting silly. Don't you worry about that. And I guess chat is right. It seems Distortion is third place right now. I didn't realize uh, 
Toad had got a twenty-five thirty. What was it? What did? What was it? Twenty-five thirty-seven. So yeah, Ouija's in fourth now, and then Spicy fifth. Is there's a pigeon that say Sagan Miomi in the prime mast. Is he resub Tainan? Any Logan Paul update? Yeah, he made a tweet talking about the Matrix. <laughs> it was here, I'll I'll pull it up, I guess. There's not like a, a big topic here, but this this got me giggling. The Matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Which is really enjoyable because Logan Paul was trying really hard to pander to people that didn't like Andrew Tate to begin with. He's like, Andrew Tate kind of fucking sucks. This guy's delusional. And now all of a sudden, now that he's been exposed for like scamming and shit, he's like, fuck the Matrix. It's all the Matrix. The reason I hired three criminals for my crypto zoo scam is because of the Matrix and now they're out to get me. The guy just jumps around from grift to grift. It's actually crazy. I don't think he has any beliefs of his own. Thanks to the resub. Wuha, Angel, and Tier 1, Samson, the Prime, Akira, and the Gift Sub, Meister, and the Resub, Double Leg, and Carivore. Yeah, I've been keeping up with the uh, art subreddit AI shit. No, I Am Jesus Christ isn't fully out yet. It's just the prologue. Show us your Crypto Zoo collection. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on that hype train. Thanks to Gibson Frank. Bro bashes Christianity for believing in fairy tales, but believes in the Matrix. No, he is a grifter. He's also backpedaled on the Christianity thing, by the way. I, I'm not even going to bother going through his replies, but one of them, it seems like he's folding on the whole atheism stuff someone was like once you started dissing christianity your career went to shit can't be a coincidence and he's like yeah i don't think it is and he also had that big apology apology to george about the christianity stuff so he's just going from grift to grift it doesn't stop i genuinely just don't think he has any real beliefs of his own Things in the resub Coco and Tier 1 Tracy. In the resub case. And Tier 1 Blucifer. You just don't understand the sacrifice he makes. That's true. I mean, I know 9 to 5s aren't fun, but, you know, it could be worse. You could have to work as hard as Logan Paul. Like, this man is doing, like, real back-breaking labor. God damn it. So you're right, he, he does put it all on the line for us at the end of the day. Thanks to Tier 1 Slayer and the Resub Baptize and Slim. Why are you hating on everyone and being negative all the time? I think the opposite. I think I'm usually very optimistic about things. It, this is just a blatant scam and a, and a very obvious douchebag. What do you mean? I actually think the opposite. I really don't think I'm negative. Unless it's something like that's just objectively, easily, provably 
bad. <laughs> I don't, it's so wild. Thanks to the resub Axel and the Bits Vegan. Have you seen the clip of Logan tasering a dead rat? No, I don't even know what you're talking about with that. Thanks for your sub storian. Need a refund? Were you a crypto zoo investor? Hey, it might be coming. With the way things have been shaping up, it really might be right around the corner. Don't give up. Did you, what? You hear about Logan's mini pig being, yeah, we talked about the pig yesterday. I learned a lot more about it earlier today from um, Sid Dwyer's video on it. The tragic tale, or the tragic, um, I'll just pull it up before I butcher the fucking name. But he really went deep into it a couple months ago to give more insight on exactly what happened with Logan Paul's pets. The tragic story of these YouTubers' pets. That's what it is. So I learned a lot more about that whole situation with his pets. Specifically the pigs. <clears throat> He's a bit takey. No, I don't know what that's about at all, Hakey. Links there some Mr. and Steel. Yeah, I'll check. I have no expectations of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I think Ant-Man and the Wasp, like the first one, is one of the worst Marvel movies they've put out in recent memory. So I don't have any expectations here. You're an interesting man. But I'm open to being surprised. Scotland. You're an Avenger. You have a daughter. But you've lost a lot of time. Like me. We can help each other with that. I don't remember, does the vibrating girl die in it? Oh, I guess spoilers. Who are you? I'm the man. That's who can give movie. you the one thing you want. What's that? Time. No, she doesn't. She's alive. Okay. He can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. He can give us a second chance. I mean, I think Kang's cool. So maybe he can carry. Let me make this easy for you. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. I want her to watch this. We had a deal. This is standard Marvel stuff. Nothing too crazy. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. Spoiling the whole we movie, nice. To lose. It really does feel like I've seen pretty much all of the plot points already. Yeah, I felt like a lot that they showed there. I saw people on Twitter freaking out because Modoc's in there somewhere if you freeze the frame correctly. Not this, but like the actual face of Modoc. It's the guy from the first Ant Man. Cool, just watch the whole movie. I yeah, I mean it feels like it really. Xerisub Odin Dinge 
B cross in the prime pain. Next to the bits, B dub, shoe, hello, and symbiote. <clears throat> yeah, I already saw that one shoe. Bard's tail. I know that game. Thanks to the bits, slayer, and mech. And there is some soup. I saw that on Twitter earlier, Mac, yeah. Do people still care about Marvel movies? I think so. I'm pretty sure they still do. I mean, I don't really get excited for them anymore. I, I go watch them, and I'm never, like, super disappointed, except with, like, Thor, Love, and Thunder. But it's just not something I get, like, actively excited for anymore. Crazy how people ask that question when they make a billion dollars every time. I know. How much did uh, Thor Love and Thunder bring in? Let's see. 760 mil. And that was like its most widely recognized stinker. Still 760 mil. And then Multiverse of Madness, 955 mil. So yeah, that, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Being negative again? Well, then, hey, 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 hey. I actually liked Multiverse of Madness. I didn't I didn't hate it. I didn't like Thor Love and Thunder, though. Yeah, that one's poop. That one is a bunch of fucking poop. Thanks to the resub. Prickly Halls, Scotia, Vendago... And the bits, Sunny, Shu, Shane, and Fate. Wild Raid went well. We've almost finished Heroic. And yeah, I'll play Hogwarts when it comes out. And there are speedruns for the Jesus game. They're just not very interesting right now. What else is there to watch? Man, there's actually been some banger movies coming out. Like, we've had some good ones recently. Here, let me pull up a list of ones. Well, here. Off the top of my head, one that I'm sure most of you haven't seen that I liked. It, it's an acquired taste because it's kind of still silly. But Barbarian. Barbarian was fantastic. And that's a movie that, like, no one really went to see. We had some good movies. We really did. There's Puss, Puss in Boots out right now. Even Megan's good. I still haven't seen the menu, but yeah, I've heard that one's very good. Is it Risa Wonder Bread and Cosmonaut? I really think we're hitting a good stride with films. TikTok Psychic is doubling down on the lawsuit. That is not surprising at all. Thanks to the Bits Vampire. Thanks to the resub, Laura. Thanks to the resub, Torchlight and the Prime Soldier. And the resub, Mickey. What are you doing tonight? So for now, just going over topics and getting a little goofy because I want to make sure I can keep an eye on the AMOC runs since tonight's the last night. We've got three hours left. So I want to keep my eyes peeled on any movement on the leaderboard here. But then after that, we can probably play some, play some shit. You see the Last of Us series review? I couldn't fucking believe that. Yeah, I saw. So many 10 out of 10s. This was absolutely adored by critics. I don't put a lot of faith in critic reviews. I really don't. But I'm still shocked. 
Every single interview they've done over the last, like, month has made me less and less optimistic about this being any good. So, the fact that it came out with glowing reviews is surprising. Thanks to the resub space in the bits, Dawson. Oh yeah, I forgot that one came. I forgot that one came out, Kopi. These were the least. These were the least surprising reviews I've ever seen. Man, I just I I can't disagree more. I really thought this would just be like a collective eh from critics. Thanks to Prime Nate. Wouldn't it be some ironic shit if it turned out to be worse than Halo? It won't be worse than Halo, I promise that. I still think there's a very good chance that it's bad, but maybe that's just because all the interviews they keep giving make it worse and worse. But it's definitely not going to be Halo levels of bad. I was originally very optimistic until the showrunner and shit started talking about it. The resub Dusty and Slug. And the resub Wody. And Crazy. Was the Halo show even an ad was the Halo show even an adapt Jesus, why is it, why can't I, why can't I read the rest of that? Are you saying did they even adapt the property for the Halo show? Is that what you were saying? Because if if so, yeah, not really. They took the name and name only. What's worse, Halo or Resident Evil? Halo. Thanks to Prime Magic and the Resub Extinct. When was the last time you saw a critic say a, reg a popular IP show was straight up bad? Hmm. Resident Evil's cheating. Everyone said it was bad, including critics, except for, I think it was IGN saying it was so realistic to the games. So I won't use that. What other big IP shows have come out? Oh, Blood Origin. Another really quick, easy example. Yeah, critics even hated that one. Nice, that was quick. The World of Warcraft movie? I don't even remember the reviews for it. Rings of Power? No, Rings of Power got lukewarm reviews. Not great, not bad reviews. People played the fence on it. Thanks, Resub Drewski, Lawson, and Sea Dog. And yeah, I've seen that Sea Dog. Thanks, the Bits Dawson. And the Resub Inkini. Who's the leader for AMOC right now? It's Zach. Zach is still first place. The new Velma show isn't getting very good reviews. Is that show out? God, that one was very silly. Oh, you're right. Velma review. HBO Max Scooby-Doo prequel too snarky for its own good. But then here's another one. It's a fun time. <clears throat> Those are the only two reviews. So it seems like critics aren't even watching it. Oh, here's another one. Lame jokes, prequelitis, and bad meta. Those seem to be the major outlets that have talked about it so far. So two out of three, not great. I 
Thanks, the resub. Sosa beef and the prime burger. Netflix scrapping a bunch of animated shows but keeping Big Mouth. Isn't that sad? Isn't that f so fucking sad? I just don't know who's fucking watching Big Mouth, and I don't know why. It's so- it's awful. He's a tier one lad. IGN gave Velma a good review. <laughs> Yikes. Bring back the Power Rangers shows? Power Rangers never stopped. They still go. Is the resub Fitzy? I hear they canceled 1899. Yeah, they canceled that. Inside Job, Pantheon, right? Thanks to the bits Shoney, and I guess. Hey, congrats, Phyrexian. Thanks to the four gift subs, Jaden. GameSpot has the worst reviews ever. I said this months ago. I can't remember the last time I watched or read a GameSpot review where I was like, I agree. <laughs> this makes sense. I don't know what it is. It's like they're just the polar opposite of my tastes. And I guess the majority of people's tastes, to be fair, because they get grilled pretty often. Here, let me see reviews for... Let's see what we got. They can't opine on this since I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen Willow, but I know most people hated it. They gave it an 8. Avatar Way of the Water, they gave a 5. This was like the safest one to give a good score to because it's just actually pretty fucking good. And they gave it a... It is crazy. They're always like the polar opposite of everything sensical. It's so weird. Uh, I just don't get it. I, like, I don't even think they're trying to be contrarian. I really think they believe these reviews. Why'd you like Avatar? I hated the first one. I thought the first one was terrible, but I actually really liked the second one. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a significant improvement. I haven't seen Willow, but I know everyone hates it. This one... Seems in line with, like, the standard. Most people I know like Wednesday. I haven't seen it. What do we got here that I've seen? Halloween Ends giving it a 3. I would have expected them to give it an 8, honestly. But yeah, that movie's very fucking stinky. So there's one I agree with. Andor, they gave a 7. That's fitting, I guess, considering it's the only good Star Wars show that they've produced since having it. Well, that and Mandalorian. Everything else they've made is fucking trash. Sequel trilogy, trash. Book of Boba Fett, trash. Andor's good. This should be higher. Cyberpunk, they gave a 9, good. Cyberpunk was very good. Rings of Power, they gave 8? Uh, <laughs> and House of Dragon, they gave a 5? What? What? Oh, goodness. Jeepers, creepers. How? I mean, I'm more offended at the 8 for Rings of Power than the 5 for House of Dragon. House of the Dragon. I liked House of the Dragon. I thought it was good, and I hated the ending of Game of Thrones like everyone else with eyes. But House of the Dragon, I thought, was just actually really pretty fucking good. Rings of Power is just not at all anywhere close to an 8. What the fuck? She-Hulk giving a 7 I'm not surprised about. 
I would have thought it'd be higher. I, I dropped it after... I can't remember if it was three or four episodes, but I, I couldn't finish it. It was fucking miserable. Prey was pretty decent. Eight makes sense. Oh, it was GameSpot. Netflix Resident Evil. Easily the best adaption of the zombie franchise yet. A nine to the Re Resident Evil Netflix show. Whoa. Like, that's... There's no way they watched it. There's no way they watched it. They, I just refuse to believe that. There's absolutely a 0% chance anyone sat down with their brain on, watched this, and then made this review. My voice is cracking at the pure absurdity of giving this a fucking 9. It's so shit. But yeah, like, it didn't even take me long to, like, prove my point, man. GameSpot, like, every review almost is one that I just wholeheartedly disagree with. It's just, I don't get it. It's so off. Thanks, Reese and Pie, Santa, Slime, and the Prime, Saran Wrap, and the Reese of Albert, Suede, and Tier 1, Odes, and the Reese of Josh. Oh, there's a like an actual video of it, Harp? Yeah, I can check that out later. And I don't really watch any reviewers for movies aside from like maybe Chris Stuckman or Jeremy. But aside from that, I, I usually just watch them after because I'm curious to see what they say. I never really go to a reviewer to see if a movie's worth my time. Same with games. Except for games, I'll sometimes go to skill up before getting something if I'm on the fence. Like, if it's not a triple-A game, that is. I'll check skill up. Thanks to the resub Raikiri and give sub teacup. Yeah, I was talking about the Andrew Callaghan stuff yesterday. We can go over the newer stuff today. Let me just finish shitting on GameSpot. Giving Thor a 6, I'm actually shocked. I would have thought they'd give it like a fucking 9 or something. Okay, they actually gave Jurassic World Dominion a 5, alright. This is way too high for Secrets of Dumbledore. But at least it's low by normal reviewer standards. This movie is unwatchably shit. This movie is, like, actually unwatchable. That should be, like, a 2. They gave Sonic the Hedgehog 2 a 7. That feels a little low. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is, like, pretty fucking enjoyable. Even Morbius, they went right in the middle with a 5 because they weren't sure if they should try and appeal to superhero fans. They weren't sure. They were getting gaslit, so they're like, damn, we gotta try and at least play it safe on both sides here. We'll just give it a 5. Even though this movie's obviously fucking awful. <laughs> Oh, they gave Halo Show an 8. Master Chief finally comes to TV and it was worth the wait. Who reviews these? It's got to be the same person. A 9 to Resident Evil Netflix and an 8 to the Halo Show. Where is where's the Resident Evil one? It's got to be the same person. It is! It's the same person! You need to get Chris off of these. I don't know who Chris is, but they are clearly not even watching the material you are tasking them with. That is that is chat GPT right there writing a review for GameSpot under the name Chris. He is absolutely fucking trolling. That is wild! That's wild! Jesus! <laughs> An 8 for Halo. That's almost as baffling as the 9 for Resident Evil. Things are you some Ghostface, Luanity, and the Prime, Uncle, and Animal. They, they, he, they gave the, if this is Chris, I'm gonna blow a gasket. Okay. They gave the Batman a 6. What is happening at GameSpot? 
This is so weird. It's so it's so baffling. They gave Matrix Resurrections a seven. Are you fucking serious? Love Keanu Reeves. Love the Matrix. This is fucking awful though. They still gave it a seven. All right, I don't. I, there's no reason to keep hurting myself going through these fucking Gamespot reviews. You get the point. I, I think Gamespot is probably like the worst for actual reviews. It's gotta be. Shit, even Polygon and Kotaku get things right more often than Gamespot. I say get it right as if taste is factual, but in this case, come on. An 8 to Halo and a 9 to Resident Evil? You're out of your goddamn mind. Those shows were awful. Thanks to the resub, Dane King and Sniffy. No, no, it won't teach on. But who knows, maybe. How are their game reviews? Exactly the same as their other reviews. It's it's no different. It's all kind of the same. This game doesn't even work when you try it in co-op. Seven is way too fucking high. Scarlet and Violet also is inexcusably unfinished and unpolished. That's too high. This is fair for Sonic Frontiers. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Wait a minute. They gave Gotham Knights a four? Okay, who did this? Because whoever did this is, like, trustworthy. All right, Mark, there you go. That's bold. They actually gave that a low score. That game fucking sucks. Hey, and they were they, and they gave score a four? When did they turn their game reviews around? Wait, that's two back-to-back -back that I agree with. That is very rare. <laughs> for GameSpot. <laughs> I didn't play enough Splatoon 3 to know if this is too low, but I really liked what I played of it. This is significantly higher than Steel Rising deserves. That game is not good. Saints Row 6 is way too fucking high, but at least it's not a good score either. Man, I'm not pl They gave Dimessia an 8. That's way too high. It seems like more their bias is like lower budget titles and being very generous. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. If I'm being charged like a AAA price, I don't care the size of the team. I'm going to grade it on a AAA scale. But I think Dimessia was $40, so it wasn't a full price game. That is still way too generous though. Seems about right. Seems about right. Man, I haven't played half of these fucking games they review. Seems about right. Diablo Immortal with a six. You got me fucked up on that. Yucky. A 9 for the quarry. That's a little generous. Man, I, what, what the fuck? Why, why are, like, all of their bigger title ones? I think Postal 401. <laughs> I haven't played it. Man, they fucking hated that one. Jesus Christ. Tokyo Ghostwire with that 8. Nope. Disagree. Agreed. That's too high. These are not nearly as bad as their uh, inter other entertainment reviews for shows and movies. Yeah, maybe they should just stick to the namesake and just stay with games. And, and don't touch things that aren't games, because my god...
I think it's resub Gumpf and Bruce Lee in the prime gray and resub Perkins, Sam, and Kale. Why are we talking about reviews? I actually don't even remember why we started talking about GameSpot reviews, to be honest with you. Probably Dankin. I didn't even get to that point and I didn't like it either. I think it's a bitch chromium. No, I don't know what you're talking about with those chromium. It's the first I'm hearing of that. Check their Moonfall review. Oh, they probably shit all over it. They didn't understand the beauty of Moonfall. If this has a 10 though, I'll use I will use GameSpot for every single <laughs> review ever. Do they even have a Moonfall review? Because this is not it. No. No moon spot or Moonfall review. Unlucky. Things are reset terrible. And the resub Isaac. You see Florida man shredding the national anthem? No, I didn't. I played Heavy Rain. I didn't play Beyond Two Souls, though. That's like the only David Cage game I haven't played. I even played that old, um... God, what's it called? The Sega Dreamcast one? Hold on, let me try and remember. I think it's like Omicron or Necrogoblicon. No, that's a, that's a band. I, I played whichever one was on the Dreamcast. No, not Fahrenheit. It was an older one. Nope. I'm trying to find it. I had David Bowie. Nomad Soul. That's the one. Nomad Soul. Omicron Nomad Soul. Is that what it is? game was so ahead of its time well, I don't know about that that's being awfully generous but it, it was something it's a tier 1 Exora have you seen Chris Hansen's new show no hold on give me two seconds though let me look something up Okay. Ouija's on world record pace right now? Okay, hold on two seconds though. Let me finish what I'm looking up. Okay, now I'm back. Thanks to the prime block. How deep into the run is he on this world record run? Okay. Thanks for your sub MCR. Eight. All right. Seven. Let's see if he pulls off world record here. We've got just Eight, seven, six, just six, over six, two seven. hours left, and Ouija's in fourth place, so he's just out of prize money. 
Prize money goes to top three. God damn it, I did the same thing again. It's not that bad. Alright, get your shit together. Get your shit together. Some Gerald. Get your shit together. Come on. No, so Bob, Toad, and Distortion have two runs that aren't on the board yet that they submitted today. So right now it's Zach, Bob, Toad, and Distortion in top three. No, 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 no. The, the board hasn't been updated yet. Thanks to tier one mini. There's no way he's going to do a Chinatown launch here, though. No shot. Chinatown launch is only going to be if someone's, like, behind. And it's going to be close. He's just going to play, like, tried and true method here. Nothing too crazy. We'll do second and third. Get so first place gets six grand, second place gets two point five, and third place gets one point five. The top five uh, said that they'd prefer that as opposed to just first place getting all ten. Like the Brian Power Ranger and Reset White T-shirt. Do I think people will still speedrun Amok after the challenge? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. This is... I tried running it for two days. This is the hardest speedrun I've ever tried. All of the tricks rely on such precision and also luck. And that is such a headache. Like, Distortion and Ouija in particular have done, like, fucking... Ouija did, like, a 35-hour non-stop stream just practicing the launches over and over and over and over again. And Distortion did, like, multiple 18-hour streams just practicing launches over and over and over and over again. And I'm sure the same can be said for Zack and Spicy, the other two in the top five. It is brutal. It's so fucking brutal. So, no, I don't think there's going to be a big AMOC speedrunning community after the challenge. Unless there's some wild discoveries. I'm taking this fucking turn safe. Car is kind of in the way. How many days do I have left? Two hours and tw uh, and seventeen minutes. Holy Whoa! shit! <laughs> uh... Close. He almost choked right there. Jesus Christ! What a close shave. It doesn't look impressive if you haven't played the game, but the driving in this is some of the most nonsensical when it comes to its physics. There is no driving quite like Amok. So the driving is actually such a fucking hurdle, by the way. I do to checkpoint here to get in front of them, but I'm going to do it anyway. Leading time right now is 25.33 by Zach. Second place is a 25.35, I think, by Bob Toad. And third place is a 25.38 by Distortion. It's fucking right, bitch. Get behind me. <laughs> I don't even know if that saves time, but that's such a statement. What made you choose this game? I So when I played this, I found a glitch that took me to the very end of the game, but I couldn't make it work. So I was convinced that there would be a good speedrun tech that you could find here. Because it was really easy for me, only spending like an hour and finding something crazy. But then what? it turns out I was wrong. Dude, what the fuck just happened? The biggest speedrun discoveries here were the launches, which are pretty cool, but not what I expected. Just didn't die. It is a wildly programmed game. No. No. Two six. Dude, I'm annoyed. I wanted to get a good time. Two six nine, two six nine, two six nine. 
It's going to be very close. It is going to be very close. He doesn't need to beat Zack. He just needs to beat uh, Distortion, I think, is third. But yeah, I don't think he can beat Zack. Unless he uses one of the new car boosts, which I don't think he will. That'd be way too risky. But just today, I saw in the Discord they discovered two car boosts that can save about 10 seconds. But I think that's too risky for him to try in this. He can. His best time is a 25-14 right now. Does that update in real time? I don't think so. Does it? Maybe you're right. I didn't think that took into account the time loss he just had. It does? Oh, okay, I must have just missed it then. Thanks to the Prime Badger. Alright, so there's a different route I should do here. My, oh my god, my hand's shaking so bad. <laughs> That's Amok, baby. He's Amoking. Dude, I can't fucking walk in a straight line. You can actually see his hand shaking in his character. Stop. Get it together, fucker. Stop. Let's go. I guess I should go like this. I think. Thanks to the resub Jerkins, Tanuki in the Prime Cove, and the resub Mixed in Platypus. And no, I haven't seen Babylon yet. He needs a really good boss fight. Yeah. Boss fight's deceptively tricky. There's some jank to it. <clears throat> he also needs to get to boss fight, and this is this isn't free by any means. This chase is fucking brutal. <laughs> This chase can kill runs like no other. It's such a bitch. Oh, thanks for the 10 gift subs, Mike. I appreciate that. Thank you for the generosity. Nice. Oh, like a glove. Is there some Wyatt in the prime Gianni? Can literally hear my heart rate right now. All right. Here we go. Now he's coming up to graveyard, then boss fight. No way he goes for moist skip. That'd be out. That'd be outrageous. Uh, he's not gonna bother with that skip. I don't think, unless he's like a real man. You'd have to be a fucking real boy to go for a moist skip in a run like this with only two hours left. All right, it's good to get two together and not like spread apart. Thanks, Reese. Endless Eustace and Wyatt. What's Moist Skip? That's what I found during the stream that made me pick this game. On the ship, from the very beginning of the game, there's a clip you can make that I found that takes you to the coffin, but since this game uses a very strict checkpoint system, you can't actually finish the game at the beginning. You have to go through every other objective. So if you do every other objective, then Moist Skip, it works. But it's not super consistent. And what he's doing right here skips a little cutscene. But it's like a three second save. Yeah, but he doesn't need it right now. If he just does everything by the book and clean, he'll have it. So he doesn't need the moist skip. And it's a, it would be a big risk to take. He'd only do it if he fucks this boss fight up. 
If he blows ass on this boss fight, he'll probably do moist skip. He missed the one shot there, but that's not too bad. And he just took a hit. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, he should still be okay, though. Yeah. He... Oh, that is rough. His best possible time is still world record by four seconds. But yeah, that is a tough one. I couldn't even go for it there. He's talking about car boost. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is actually unironically probably like a one second time loss because that car turned there for no reason. Not even exaggerating, that probably just cost him a full fucking second just because of that. She followed you here just as you All right. I have to go. Thanks to the resub Sonic. Thanks to the resub Humbucker and the Bits King. No, he, he doesn't need Moist Skip. He's not going to do it. He'd be such a fucking madman to go for Moist Skip right now. There'd be no reason for it. He's a resub Zunas. He's a resub beat, er, Beasts. Okay. Oh, dude. I'm pretty sure my gold's at accurate too. Just play it by the book. Me. Don't even risk the moist skip. I'm actually getting nervous. He might. Oh god. What Don't do it. Just do it normal. <laughs> Don't fucking do it. Just do it normal. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna do it normal. If he was doing moist skip, he'd go up the ladder and do it right now. Yeah, he's just gonna do it the the old fashioned way here. His best time includes Moist Skip if he doesn't he doesn't world record. He doesn't need world record, like I said though. He just needs top three. And it and I'm pretty sure he will top three, because this will be a 25, 35. No. It'll be it'll be lower than that. It'll be like a 25. Oh wait, never mind. What do you mean his best included Moist Skip? Doesn't look like it. It's still like a 20 th yeah, 25 32. That's world record. There it is. Your new first place. You were right though, it did include Moist Skip. My fucking brain malfunctioned there at the end. With two hours left, he went from fourth to first place. That right there was a $6,000 run. <laughs> Assuming no one beats it. There's still two hours, and with that, he pushed Distortion into fourth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say. So now it's coming down to the wire. I did hear in chat someone say distortion. Someone said distortion just golded a cock launch. So we'll check in on distortion in just a second. That was a beautiful run, though. I I have a lot of conflicting thoughts. So that's kind of why I'm not like popping off super hard. But 
Thanks for the resub. Slips, Neil, and the bits salty. I don't have time. I gotta do more. I, I really have to do more. That's a grinder right there. He got world record, but knows with two hours well, left, anything's possible. We Smart. Got world record. Right back into <laughs> it. I'm happy. <laughs> and thanks for the subs and the support. It's like my yeah. job's not done here. To make sure. There it is. Let's see. Second, dude. I fucking choked the ending. <laughs> Good shit. It, it wasn't too bad. He took one hit on boss fight, and I think he missed four shots. So it could have been a lot worse. So let's see that go. Oh, he had to reset. That's unlucky. Distortion just reset the gold cock launch. Look at the bits of gears. Like, if I want. <laughs> If I want, uh, if I want some money, there's plenty of sponsors that I could take. <laughs> That's true. Distortion is a big boy. He's doing it for the love of the sport. Thanks to some cotton so candy and though. relics. Is this going to become a thing, putting up bounties on no one I'm knows just, games? Uh, yep, I'm once a month. It, I'm just waiting till the last minute, chat. We gotta wait till the last possible moment. <laughs> Do I have the next game picked already? Not yet. So, once this is over tonight, for the next two weeks, we'll be making the Summoning Salt style video on the history of it. And then I'll announce the next one. Oh, that's a perfect cock launch! Let's go! It's not gold, but that's still a very good cock launch. Clean. Do the runs need to be over before deadline or just started before? Uh, so at midnight, if anyone's in a run, they can obviously finish it, but they just can't start any after midnight. Well, like an hour and a half. Oh yeah, Lark's, uh, apparently the menu is available, uh, on, like, I think you can watch it. I think the bits gears in the resub Toja and Derpy. Might... Down the Discord said it had to be submitted before midnight. Oh, that's news to me. Uh, I'm fine with either. I thought I thought we were doing it up until midnight, though. Am I wrong? Am I misremembering? It's on HBO Max. Okay. Well, you created the. Well, I created it with the community, and Kronos and J Mac have been instrumental in it. I can't remember what we decided. I thought we were doing until you could have the runs up. Well, I guess that makes sense because the they, they're the ones that have to go through it at the end. It counts. Okay. Well, I'll keep going until midnight then. Thanks to the give sub so. easy and resub snow. No, I haven't seen the Overlord speed run. You taking game suggestions the for the next and game? Skips mm -mm. And cones have been really bad, but I mean, all it takes is one. The thing is, like, if you suggest my, a game, it means people know of my it. My mansion, I like my ruins mansion it. skip setup, but it's not fast. I'm losing like five seconds there because I spend so much time setting it up. Only downside. Today is the final day. But I mean, it, two hours. Like, I was worried it, Ouija could have gotten like an insane run with that, but he only managed to get record by one second. So. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about my slow mansion setup time. No, the whole point is picking a game legitimately no one has ever played. I think that makes it much more exciting. A complete canvas. And next time, for the next one, I am doing bounties for whoever finds the biggest, most impactful glitch when it comes to the speedrun. So there's the going to be the 10k for strat? best speedrun, and then also $1,000 for whoever happens to find the best, most useful glitch did, for time-saving. 
No? Oh, okay. Yeah, he lost like a shit ton of time on Fat Guy. I still don't have prime a perfect lit. Fat Guy gold. There's some Butter, Aimer, and Joe. getting better, but I think I could still gold Fat Guy by like three seconds. <clears throat> Is it just up to your discretion who finds the best glitch? No, I'm going to leave it up to the community. The runners will decide what glitch was the most impactful. That finally looks good, I think. That looks very good. He missed checkpoint, but that's still fine. There it goes. That's okay. Ish. Good cone, good cone. There's the resub, Rick. And the resub humming. Yeah, we watched Ouija on that run. We got there at the tail end of Mansion, so we got to watch a good chunk of it. I didn't get to see his um, cone or Mansion launch, though. Zach must be in shambles. Yeah, Zach went from. Well, now he's in second. Who knows? Could end up. I mean, <laughs> could end up not even in top three by the end of this. Thanks, Resub Slam. He has, he has pretty likely chances, though, I, re I would say, honestly. Yep, top three get paid out. <clears throat> Thanks, Dresub Guapo. First, second, and third are all within two seconds of each other. Isn't that crazy? Six three one no six two point five one point five. Did you expect the time to be so low for the run? I was actually expecting it to be like sub ten minutes. Unironically, I really thought this would be like a sub ten minute game. Thanks to Prime Messiah. You have to keep in mind, when I chose this game, I didn't know that they had that checkpoint check, that checkpoint system in place. And I was able to find so many ways of getting to later parts of the game, I thought for sure that it would be a really quick speedrun, but it has very, very strict checks. All right, this is make or break right here. Mansion launch. Well, after this, I don't think he's gonna like choke anything on this combat section, but yeah, after this, mansion launch, and that's the make or break. So that was world record by just over a second. Yep. World record, we just watched from Ouija, 2532. Second place is 2533, and third place is 2535. Here it comes. I'm pulling for you, Distortion. That looks pretty good. Oh, shit. Oh, bro, that looked so good. I thought I had it. Fuck, that did look good. Yeah, it's a shame. Damn, fuck. Oh, this game, man. <laughs> yeah. That looks that's so a good. That's Amok. Well, maybe second try? That's oh, the okay, I fucked the car. That's the Amok yeah, experience. No, fuck now. Oh yeah, I'm worse. Ultra fucked now, aren't we? Damn, that's unlucky.
That was a really good setup. I'm surprised that didn't pan out. Thanks, Risa Umbrella. We second try. We could still Chinatown save it. Or I don't even know. Whatever. Just send it, I guess. This shit ain't gonna work, I don't think. Or it is. Okay. I don't think Chinatown saves him here, but it'll be at least nice to see. So when we watched Ouija, there was a launch he could have done after Mansion, which sends him all the way to Chinatown. Oh. But I don't think it's going to make up 51 seconds. I think it saves like 30. Did those shots just miss or... It saves about a minute. Okay, that'll be cutting it close then if you can hit Chinatown in a quick in a quick way. Oh my god. I feel like my turtle. shots just went through that guy, man. What the hell was that shit? Why not reset instead? Because you can still get it. If Chinatown launch really saves a minute, he can still get it. You can still get top three. I mean, getting China launch would be pretty hype, though. I'll try. Even Here's if I tier get one it, man, brub, it's... Kenbaru. I don't even know, man. It's gonna be close. I'm pretty fucking far behind. I think it's the Zandes. Chi oh, true. Actually, if he does Chinatown launch plus car boost after boss fight plus moist skip, he he could actually still get world record even after all of that. Gotta help me chat. You gotta help me. I was zoning out. What is it? Nine two four. He's putting a lot of faith in that one chatter because I wasn't paying attention either. That chatter might have just saved him. Thanks the prime whatever bro in cash. I actually really hope he hits Chinatown launch. That would be super fucking hype and that would make this really interesting. This is our redemption arc. Yeah, we're probably not gonna hit this. But... Fuck it, dude. It would be pretty exciting if we did, so I'm going for it. Is he occupied? I mean, he's got to go for it for sure. I think it's too late to reset this shit. We're in too deep. Let's go, baby. Let's see the Chinatown launch. Just hit it. Just fuck it. Just hit it. That would be amazing. Is he reset blue? Moist is watching. Yeah, he's about to watch me fucking fail this shit. No, 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 no. I just hit that Chinatown launch for me. Do it for the one time. There is a pretty good setup for Chinatown launch I saw on the Discord today, but I don't think Distortions practice it because it's last day. We got it. We got to go. We got to go. Yeah, you're going to have to send this. Just let it rip. Fuck it. I probably took too long already, dude. I think. Even if I get this. Dude, Is that why enough? Did I have to hit the fucking wall, man. Oh, I, he didn't get enough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so sad. Yeah, he didn't get enough forward momentum there. It just went straight up. Fuck. That's sad. That would have been kind of fucking nuts. Here's Zach trying to hold on. And then Bob Toad. 
Okay. Weege is on another crazy run, really? Okay. Let's see if he increases the lead here. Thank you, Winston. Not past Mansion, not crazy. Yeah, but still, Cone Skip isn't like a guarantee, so hitting Cone Skip already gets the juices flowing oh, a little bit. Oh god, man, this is, this is crazy. This, what a fucking last day this is. This is insane. Also, I'm dropping a lot of frames. One thing he can do... I don't know why. Because since he already has the lead, he could do this. If he misses Mansion Launch first try, gets it second try, he could also just do Chinatown, which would save a lot of time and actually still increase his it's lead. It's such a bittersweet feeling to beat it by one second right now. It's... He's a tier one gummy. I don't, I don't have room to celebrate right now. I still have to treat it the same way I was before and just wait till the end to see what happens. Things a prime running. Ouija's most consistent. Ouija and Zack are the most consistent, yeah. And then Distortion and Spicy are just behind them when it comes to consistency. I would say. Come on. Yeah, it ends at midnight tonight. This has been two weeks in the making, and man, this shit is popping off on the final day. Crazy runs. Imagine two fucking blank launches in a row. Drew Valence had some good runs, but unfortunate luck with some of the launches. I've been watching. Exerus of Juvino and Soto. Zach said he hopes the next game is better and speedruns more fun. Me too, man. <laughs> yeah, seeing the, the misery from these fucking launches has been heartbreaking, but also kind of like sickeningly entertaining. Yeah, hopefully the next one's better. <laughs> Rough. Kind of had hope for that. Oh, he's, yeah, he won't even go for Chinatown. All right, interesting. Yeah, the RNG is just so fucking rough on those launches, man. No matter what you do, there's still just an element of RNG to it, which is a goddamn shame. Exit like tier one. Better. In the resub Mickey. Mm -hmm. We pick the next game on bad night on bad game night streams or do it privately. Privately. I don't want anyone to have any kind of advantage. I want this to once again just be a complete clean slate of a game no one's ever even fucking heard of. Thanks the resub horny. <clears throat> when do you plan on doing the next contest so it'll be two weeks after this ends that's the cadence we're looking to get into so tomorrow we'll obviously know the winner i'll post a video going over like the winner how it all panned out and plans going forward and then for the next two weeks, we'll be making the summoning stalt, uh, summoning stalt style, Jesus, summoning stalt style video on the, the history of it, going over all the launches, how it all came out, tricks that weren't used or discovered, the, the goofiness, just going into it. And then once that comes out, which again, trying to do two weeks, then the next one will start. So it'll be two weeks on, two weeks off.
Thanks for the bit, Sam Boney. No, I don't think I'll ever choose like a full retail sixty dollar game. I don't. I don't think that makes much sense. It'll always just be unheard of games, like a mock runner and stuff like that. Thanks for the resub, Coney and Jim. Basically bad, basically bad game night games. Yeah, basically bad game night games. Have you heard of the game Your Only Move is Hustle? No, I don't think I've heard of that one. Will you ever up the 10k bounty? Um, probably not unless this like really blows up. But I mean, 10k every month for this is already a lot. Uh, I'd have to fall into tons more finance finances for more than 10k every month on it. Thanks to Resub Mellow and the Bits Fate and Waken. Do I have a favorite WWE theme song? Oh yeah, Headstrong from Trapped. I used to love that as a kid. Thanks to the Resub Killing. Felt like the shit singing that at eight. It's still, I still like the song. It's a shame the lead singer is such a weirdo, but the song is still fun. And I also still like the other song from Trapped called Still Frame. Thanks to the resub infamous. A ch will the challenge end at exactly 12 a.m.? Yeah. Is it tier one two face? Oh no! Let me get let me get full confirmation on the uh, timing of runs because I was under the impression you can run all the way up till midnight. You just can't start a run after midnight. Let me double check to make sure. Thanks to the resub, Keisha, Juso, and the Prime, Ben Shapiro, but taller. <coughs> Any update on the Dr. Allen stuff? No, he just did that interview yesterday and uh, actually made himself look much worse in it from everything I understand. I still haven't listened to all of it. I've only seen people talking about it, so I'll need to listen to it myself. I 
Here's the prime OP. Any updates about buying Machinima? Yes, we actually had a conversation with one of the previous heads of Machinima who's going to do his best to put us in contact with the right people to actually talk about purchasing it. So yeah, we did have a big development on that this week. He also said he doesn't know if the videos were deleted or unlisted. That wasn't information he had. If the videos are deleted, the channel is legitimately worthless. <laughs> like, it would have absolutely no fucking value. But I'm really thinking they're privated. Distortion just hit mansion skip. Like, clean? Or was it second try? Let me see. Okay, he's still gonna have to hit Chinatown. Chinatown could save us, Copium. I really want to see him hit Chinatown, to be honest. You should check out Dark Souls Arch Throw. Oh yeah, we looked at that. 870, I think. Needs to give some psycho. We still gonna talk about the Andrew Callaghan stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I planned on doing that and then got stuck in the Amok rabbit hole. It's hypnotizing, but yeah, we'll go over that again. You still doing WoW tomorrow at 9? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. It's up to the raid group. We'll see. I do plan on streaming before then, though. Here we go. Hit that Chinatown skip, baby. Come on now. Come on. If you don't mind, Kronos, I think that'd be very hype. As long as it's not like a like a hassle. Thanks for resubmit. Just rip it. Just a fucking perfect Chinatown launch. Just let me be here for it. Let me type in chat I was here. Oh, he's just doing it raw. He's just doing it raw! Oh, never mind. <laughs> he is going for the setup. I thought he was just going off vibes on that this one. Looks potentially good. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna send it. Fuck it, dude. YOLO. I mean, you got to, yeah. Rough. Ah, uh, no second try either. Damn. That's so unlucky. Can't even get it out of here either. Oh, uh, whatever, man. Fuck! Damn it! Things are prime Lucy in the resub hug. In the resub Craig. Alright, here, let me pull up the Channel 5 stuff real quick. So we already talked about the Channel 5 allegations yesterday, but I think it was... H3H3 or something said that he talked to Andrew about it and he actually admitted that they're true. Where can I find that? Because now I don't remember where that was. Hmm. 
Mm. Does anyone know where it was? The allegations were on TikTok a few days ago. Someone came forward talking about a bad experience they had with Andrew. He apparently was coercing her into a sexual encounter. She repeatedly told him no, but eventually just conceded and consented. And was talking about how that was just not an okay thing for him to do. And then after that came out, people started finding old tweets about Andrew from other women who had very similar experiences with him talking about him being like very not good in this regard as like a predator sexual abuse all kinds of things dating all the way back to 2020 from what i saw but again nothing was a hundred percent confirmed it was just a lot of people's stories but even though even people that didn't know that he was all gas no brakes or channel five people just in the local area were posting warnings about him as being a a sexual deviant so that to me was really alarming because it wasn't you couldn't even make the argument that it was just like attention seeking which i always think is a bad argument in the first place but it was literally just locals talking about it from what i saw in some of the older tweets and then the the person who initially posted the tiktok came forward with the like messages confirming that they do talk they do know each other they even took pictures together in a bathroom together so at the very least, she confirmed that they were together when she said they were, and they are familiar. And then today, apparently, H3H3 said he'd talked to Andrew, and Andrew admitted that it was true. That's, again, that's all just, like, hearsay. That's still not, like, hard confirmed. I can't even find that tweet anymore, so I'd say take that with a grain of salt for now. But it's just not looking good, and it's very sad as a huge fan of Channel 5. That is very, that is awful. And it's even more awful for the women, of course. But it's, you, you hate to hear that someone that you really admire may potentially be a really fucking awful sexual predator. It was in the subreddit for Channel 5. Is that where it was? Video, Ethan Klein from H3 claims to, have po- claims to have spoken with Andrew and claims Andrew is at a psych ward. Claims Andrew knew the two TikTok accusers. So. Oh, here. Oh, first, I, don't know. I just I'll, wanted to make sure that. I'll pull it on screen, I guess. This isn't, this isn't what I saw on Twitter, but I'll pull it up anyway, I guess. So, first I just wanted to make sure that he told me he was, like, at a psych ward. He was not doing well, and he was having panic attacks and stuff. And I, first of all, wanted to make sure that he was safe, that he wasn't going to hurt himself, that he was with people that cared about him. Obviously, I don't, I think I'm, I don't want him to die. I'm hoping none of y'all think he he should die for this, do you? And so I did confirm that he's doing okay. So that was a relief to me. Again, I'm not defending him, and I believe the those victims 100% since they came out with their videos. So what was I saying? So... Well, what I was going to say before y'all jumping to conclusions is that he confirmed what they're saying is true. Okay? Y'all fucking, you know what I mean? He confirmed that he knew the girls and that he had encounters with them. So, right out the bat, you know what I mean? He was... Well, is he confirming the the accusations or just that he knew them and that he had encounters? Because the, the allegations are him being very forceful in trying to be sexual, and t- at least with one of them, until she eventually just said okay in order to get in her words get him off of her so is he confirming that or is he just confirming he knew them and they had done things at some point 
All of it's still kind of in the air right now, but it is not looking good for Andrew whatsoever. Just watch Ant-Man. I already did. It looks like every other Marvel movie ever made. I don't have any strong opinions on it. Just fucking standard Marvel. So I guess we'll see. This is all still developing. It's a prime dumpling, but very sad all around. Zach's on a fucking run right now, is he? Well, he's hit cone skip. He hasn't done mansion yet. Mansion's gonna be the make or break. I don't use corner strat because I'm not a pussy. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Doesn't even need to jump a foot up. Look, it's all the way down. I still can't get on it now. He's watching me right now. I'm here. Show me a good mansion. I will clutch up. Did WWE actually get sold? I know Vince McMahon came back and threatened to sell. Did that? Did he actually sell it? Because I didn't hear about an actual sale going through. No, it hasn't yet. Okay. It's <laughs> a Mr. Beast. Imagine Mr. Beast buying the WWE. That'd be so fucking hype. <laughs> the WWE has like 100 million subscribers no, on YouTube. Now. He would... Mr. Beast would have two 100 million subscriber channels and then like Ooh, five 20 choke, mils. By the way, dude, I don't, I don't get the boost here. There's no choke. I simply don't get the boost. Check it out. I wonder if it's even faster to get in the side versus going around. Had to get comically lucky. Oh, wait, he's doing log. Oh, no shot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought, oh. Does he not do China? Maybe he hasn't practiced Chinatown. That's yeah, basically the plot, Bexy. Like, Unless it got stuck. Because I was going to say, he could have gone for one more attempt on it and still been able to save the run by doing Chinatown launch. Tough. He landed on the wrong side. Yeah, I've never seen anyone try log on that side willingly. Thanks to Prime Mikey. You see Dunkey's big mode is their first game. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to look at that. What's it called? Animal Well? Big mode is publishing Animal Well. Okay, yeah, let me take a peek at that. I want to go pee and fill up my water real quick, though, so give me two seconds. Thanks for resub ABK and the Prime Mikey.
you threw one bacon. Three gift subs, lizard. Thank you for that. Angry sub JF. Angry sub Binjuls and the Prime OD. So where is it this game? Oh, he talks about it in the Donkey's Best of 2022, huh? This year, Twitter had me like... Then when Overwatch 2 came out, that game had me like... But when we did Big Mode, then I was like... When we announced this, you guys showed us so much love. You left so many <laughs> incredible, uplifting comments. All these artists started drawing up this amazing artwork of Biggie. Oh, and that's so adorable. Many super talented people started reaching out to us. Never in a million years did I expect such a warm response, man. That really meant a lot to me. And now, I think we're finally ready to make our first announcement. Thanks to Gifts of Blizzard and the Reese of Nodlack and Seawall. Yeah, we're publishing Animal Well, baby. The first ever open well type game. This was one of the very few games at E3 this year that caught my eye, and after playing it and getting to know the developer Billy Basso, we E3? So there was no E3. Publishing Animal Well. It's intuitive, it's detailed, it's atmospheric. It's a game. Show Jeff Keighley some respect. I'm, I'm sure he's kidding, but games. come on, Jeff this Keighley worked hard. Surprise you, it's gonna spook you, it's gonna reward you for toying with its mechanics and delight you with some of the coolest animal interactions I've ever seen in a game. Look at this chinchilla. Oh, I love this guy. Looks cute. Please, people, go wishlist Animal Well on Steam if you want to see how deep the Animal Well really goes. Go, go wishlist. Did you? It do seems it? nice. You better fucking do it, guys. So is it the Summer Games Fest? Okay. Then I'm guessing they didn't have a publisher, so Donkey came in and took it under the big mode wing. It's not a game that I would normally play, but it, it looks fine. I think it looks like a good game. It's just not my kind of genre. The only games I ever really play in that kind of style or that kind of genre is like Hollow Knight and shit like that. Or even like Ori. Will they also develop games? No, they're a publisher. I don't think they plan on developing games. I still haven't played Celeste, but I've heard nothing but good things. Thanks for the uh, gifts again, Lizard. Yeah, I saw about that, Wolfen. Thanks for the bitch blunder. Also, when I went to fill up my water, I saw something kind of wacky on Twitter. Is this true? So Riot Games released a new League cinematic and it wasn't received well, so they made an entire thread about apologizing for the bad animation. Is that true? Yeah? Where's the thread? Oh, here we go. Riot Games... Here, I'll just pull it down here. Riot Games acknowledges frustrations with League's Season 2023 cinematic and state of the game. A message from Riot about Season 2023. Following this period of speculation, negative responses to League's 2023 opening cinematic that released was earlier today. Near unanimous negative responses. Riot has issued this statement regarding its issues surrounding the creation of the video. Interesting. The company explained that the feeling of its loss of interest in League among the community over the past months is valid due to the lack of communication it had with the player base, but Riot hinted that there's still much to come for League and that a bit of it and that a bit of the plans in store for the game will be revealed in the next couple days. I'll check out the cinematic in a second. Danny told me, and I didn't look up myself, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and ask chat because you guys would probably know and I don't feel like looking it up right now. 
did Riot Games just completely gut the LCS in terms of, like, spectating? He told me that there'd no longer be, like, casters and they're just kind of, like, relegating the streams for the LCS games to, like, nothing burgers. That's true? Oh my god, that's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, man. Rest in peace, LCS. Yeah, I guess they're really just prioritizing Valorant, man. But still, League of Legends is what got them there. How the fuck could they still not be trying to healthily expand and grow that scene? Either some Wooly and Loden. Let's see the cinematic. No, I'll just go up here. The brink of infinity. <coughs> He's a tier one Dan. Once again, I stand at the brink of infinity. That's the title of the video, baby. Let's go! What lies beyond the shrouded path? Death? No. Nothing that simple. The best part of me will live on in the scars I leave behind. I, do not uh, I see why people are gonna... I, I can already tell what's gonna happen. They're not gonna show anything. It's just storytelling while going through this landscape, isn't it? I will brave the shadows. I can already tell. Trusting nothing but my strength. I have found my limit a thousand times, and still I press further. <laughs> okay, this is fucking dumb. This is so dumb. A lesson. At the bare minimum, literally at the bare minimum, they're playing audio from important matches. You could have at least just showed the clips. <laughs> like, clearly the animation wasn't there this time around. So just make a highlight montage at that point. Three sub Joe and Zytro. Didn't load the assets. <laughs> yeah, only the audio loaded into the scene. Now I will teach them to fear me. I will become more like casters fearing for their jobs, since you're gutting that. Why? Because I can. Yeah, I see why people fucking hate this. That was awful, especially compared to Riot, who always kills it with cinematics. I cannot believe that. Wow. 131k dislikes? Yeah, it seems about right. That, I do understand now why they have made a thread talking about dropping the ball here, because... Jesus. Maybe League is actually dying. I can't believe they gutted the LCS. Let me let me see everything they've done to it. I might as well look it up now since we're already talking about it. Popular host James Dash bids farewell to League. Yep. The LCS's new direction. Where can I see all of the in information about that new direction? Where can I find it? 
Its new direction is off a cliff. <laughs> nice. Read his message. The new direction of the LCS doesn't have a need for, consi for a consistent host. Having said that, still be involved from time to time for key moments and content. But can I get more of the specifics? Because as I understand it, they're now just kind of dropping the LCS streams into just random channels with no casters. It's just raw gameplay, which is super fucking underwhelming. Is that true or not true? Pretty sure they're still casters. Okay, so I'm gonna go with not true, but where can I see everything that they've changed? Is it this? I don't think the schedule would have the information. Change the Thursday and Friday. The schedule being the biggest killer. I thought, I really thought there was more to it. The biggest thing is the schedule change because it's going to be games at noon on Wednesdays. So then why did they get rid of Dash? Because I thought with the changes they didn't, and like you said, the new direction doesn't need a consistent host. I thought it was them kind of doing away with the need for casters in every game. So they did just be dropping some of them with just raw gameplay and shit. Is that not right? They still have casters, just not hosts. Okay, so they're getting rid of the hosts, not the casters. Okay, gotcha. So now it's only going to be casting the game, so there won't be any interviews or any kind of analysis. It's complicated. Why am I getting so much mixed information then? Where can I find, like, the definitive, here's what's coming? These are some bubs. On the official league page. I, I assume that would come up here, but all right. Here, we'll just go to, what, leagueoflegends.com? Go to their news. Shirtless new League of Legends champion confirmed for 2023. What the fuck is this article, man? That's part of the issue, right? It's done a poor job of clearly stating what all is changing. Makes your sub flow. You have to look at random Riot employee Twitters to piece together everything. Can and, and no one's like compiled it all into one matter of fact document of here's what to expect for the LCS going forward because reading Dash's statement he said that there's no longer a need for a consistent host or uh, consistent no, it was host right not caster now I'm getting fucking confused from chat he said there's they don't need that consistency anymore which to me corroborated what I had heard about them not needing all of like the the talent they have outside of the players to host the actual tournaments
Xavier said Cherry. League is worldwide. LCS is just USA. Well, yeah, of course, man. But LCS is what's dying. Like, the viewership on LCS is in the shitter. And it looks like they're only burying it further. But League itself seems like it's on the downward trend. Even though, like, the LCK and all that's still doing well. Like, it really feels like League's just not going in a great direction. Even though I don't keep up with it too much anymore, everything I hear just seems overwhelmingly negative. He's a prime Dracula. It's more just NA is dying. Yeah, it could just be because I'm in the NA, so all I hear is about how bad NA is and how NA itself is like actually dying with League. Maybe it's still popping everywhere else in the world. That I couldn't tell you. Distortion got mansion skip. What, first try? Why are you lying to me? Yeah, just an A worldwide is as big as ever. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Easy tier one frosty. Viewership for League is increasing everywhere else. Is it? Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just, just in the NA. Yeah, Worlds was huge everywhere else. I mean, Worlds is always still pretty big. Even in NA, people still watch Worlds. Saudi Arabia just bought the WWE. It's confirmed now. Obviously, WWE. The self-destruction of the Ultimate Warriors, the documentary WWE wishes it never made. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Stephanie McMahon just resigned from the WWE. And Vince McMahon reportedly sells WWE to Saudi Arabia. But this is from comingsoon.net. I don't really know that source. That seems to be the only one right now here. Things are so woozy and windy. We said parkour. It's true. I was there. there. I'll take. I'll take Chatter's word for it. He, he would help foster the deal. T spill talked to the breeder of Logan Paul's pigs. Confirmed they were rehomed together. But in the TMZ interview that came out earlier, he said he split them up. Man, what the fuck? Thanks to the resub flying pig in Metro. Thanks to the resub reb. Hold on. Let me look something up real quick.
Thanks to Tier 1 Toast and Resub Steven, Gucci, and e Ethos. Thanks to the Prime, T Migsy, and the Bits Fate. <clears throat> Do you remember when Vince McMahon tore both his quads at the 2005 Royal Rumble? Oh, yeah, God, of course. He fucking slides into the ring but hits his quad hits both of his legs going in and his quads just snap so then he just lay or sits there all goofily. Here I'll pull that clip up. Kinda shit quality, but it is what it is. WWE probably just keeps taking this clip down. But I mean, the the show the show went on. <laughs> Vince McMad, yeah. <laughs> oh man, those those quads are not feeling too hot. But he is playing it off really well. All things considered. How do they get him out? Do they just have to like pick him up and carry him? Turn the lights off and carry him out? Oh, he kind of rolls out. Nice. But yeah, I... I I will say there's plenty you can shit on Vince McMahon for. A, a multitude, a, a, an unreal amount of things that he has done wrong that make him a bad, shitty person. But God damn it, you can never knock how hard he committed to being the commissioner in these fucking matches. That man was a fucking professional in there. Thanks to the resub, pro, Jesus, and the bits fate. How's he a shitty person? Oh, I couldn't even begin. There is so much info on all of the shit he's done with the WWE behind the scenes, as well as so many cover-ups that he had a very big hand in, including, um, you know what, I'm not even gonna get into it. We've already had so many streams on it. I'd say look it up yourself. There is, there is too much to go over. Way too much. Did you make a video? No, but I spent like an hour on stream going over all the Vince McMahon, or at least not even all of it, but like a good chunk of the Vince McMahon stuff. Thanks to Resub Zach and the Prime Calco. Fake news. <laughs> oh, that's like actually... Some of it's on video. <laughs> A lot of his shit. I think you're just memeing, but yeah. Like, the, no one's been caught in 4K harder than Vince McMahon with half of these fucking allegations against him. It's like the most well-documented shitty CEO ever. Yeah, we'll see if he actually sold the WWE. Right now, there's only one source talking about that, which is this one, 18 minutes ago. I don't know that source. I don't know how reliable it is, so I'll, I'll wait and see, because obviously this would be big news if he did sell it. Thanks to the Prime King.
Go to the Squared Circle subreddit. A lot of verified wrestling insiders confirmed it, including Dave Metzier. Oh, Dave Metzler. Let's do some Calvin. I'll still wait. But it does seem as though this may be a real story. Maybe the WWE truly was just sold to Saudi Arabia. It's Meltzer. Oh, gotcha. Well, they put Metzler. Or Metzer. Metzler, whatever. Let's do some Calvin. What does this mean for the WWE? I have no idea. I could not tell you. WWE garbage now anyway. I haven't watched the WWE in a while. Couldn't tell you. Company is reportedly returned to being private. Hmm. Apparently he's doing it so they can go private and he can get full control again. Jesus. Do you think the games will discontinue for the WWE? I don't think I don't think so. That would be a weird thing to do. I haven't watched WWE since I was 11 and Chris Benoit happened. Oof. Thanks for your sub beetle. Damn. You see old school RuneScape going to introduce a new skill? Yeah, eventually. Which would be cool. Are you going to play Siege again? Mm, maybe. We'll see. About 50 minutes left till the end of Amok Runner. That's right. 50 minutes till the Amok Runner 10k bounty is done. Uh, yeah, 50 minutes. You see Spellbreak went down today? Yeah. What game am I most excited for this year? Hmm. Thanks for your sublime. Maybe Wulong. That game looks really good. Yeah, either Wulong or the new Zelda Breath of the Wild. I forgot what it's actually called, to be honest. Thanks for your sub Ethereum. Oh, Silk Song is confirmed for this year, isn't it? They still haven't said anything except for that one post where it's like, it's coming out in, you know, soon. A year from this post. Sometime within a year of this post. He's a tier one forcing in the resub young. Whew. Prime Troy. 
and Ellie. And the resub punk chick. Where's Metroid Prime 4? Why are you asking me, man? I don't work for Nintendo. Thanks, resub skull. Yeah, I don't know if Atomic Heart's actually coming out. It's been like 10 years. They do this like every year. I hope it comes out. It looks good. Who was the GM? You talking, you talking about for my D&D &D campaign that I mentioned today? It was Arcadum. The Twitch anime villain. You have no idea the power I could have wielded or whatever. Is the resub Francis? And the tier one berserk. God, it's such a shame because that campaign was so fun. Ah. <sighs> Hold on, quick text message. All right, back. What happened to him? Well, after all of the... Uh, allegations and everything came out and then all of the audio and everything leaked people just stopped associating with him he still streams i think he still does dnd as well and that's where the 17.8 percent meme started it's not as popular now since it's been a while but the 17.8 percent was in one of the leaked audio calls where he was talking to one of the victims he was like do you know how many people who play my campaigns will end up being a real friend of mine because i do I've calculated the numbers. It comes out to a roughly 17.8% chance of someone who plays my campaign becomes my friend. The evidence is empirical. <laughs> it, yeah, it was... That whole thing was so fucking sad. I had so much fun with that campaign. I think the two gift subs berserk. And of course I'm playing Pal World when it comes out. And the bits don't know anymore. Uh, I'm not sure don't know anymore. Maybe. Is the prime rock and gradient the bit scafe? You know, play the new SpongeBob game, probably. You see, Ron Jeremy won't be standing trial because of dementia. I fucking saw that. Uh, this this would be dangerous to look up on stream, but his picture actually looks like the very image of a rapist. Like when you picture a rapist, the th the person you see, like in your head, is Ron Jeremy. But here here I found one that should be safe for stream. Like look at him. That's, he, like, he's so fucking creepy looking. But yeah, there is, this has been going on for a long time. But now it looks like he won't be standing trial because of, uh, dementia. Mm-hmm. 
Like the resub lat. How old is he? I don't remember how old he is now. It's probably somewhere in this article. I haven't read this article on it. I read a different one, and I don't remember. But, I mean, he's old. The, these date back for so long. He's like 70-something. Well, he's, he's got to be somewhere in the 70s, close to it, in ballpark. Yeah, he's been getting away with this shit for a long, long time. Things are so pretty. He's 69. Oh. So yeah, he was close. It says he's 30 in the article. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it does say he's 30. I, I see where you got confused. All that rape really adds a lot of extra years. Don't age super well as a rapist, I guess. Thanks to tier one toe, tier one fallen in the resub ball. That's 30 charges. I, I know. Th the guy was just kidding. Thanks to the resub well. And orange. What do they do with him now that he's unfit for trial? Great question. I don't think I saw an answer to it, so I don't know. Probably admit him to like some kind of psychiatric facility would be my guess. It said in that, well, like I said, I hadn't read that article. I was just pulling that up to show you. I read something totally different, but I saw this picture of him earlier as well. Yes, that's why we have the WWE thing up. I was looking it up to see if it actually did get sold. And it seems like all of the sources aren't fully confirmed, but it is looking like that is the truth. Yes, I know. Who'd they sell to? Well, right here. Allegedly sold to Saudi Arabia. Uh, I think it was a Saudi Arabian investment fund. It's a five-year sub subi. Any new AMOC streamers in the lead? We actually just watched Ouija get the new world record. So right now, Ouija's number one. Yeah. How much time left? 40 minutes. I 
Have you seen Valorant's crypto drama? No, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. I'm not doing anything right now. I'll look it up. Oh, wait, you're talking about the crypto betting. I don't know why when I heard crypto drama, it sounded like it was drama about a play, like a, um, a character in the game. Like crypto from Apex. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I know all about the betting drama. I saw Tarek is going to be making, like, his own Tin Man lobbies where you need, like, to be invited to play because it's so bad right now. Yeah, no, I'm aware. What's wrong with Riot? Well, not to defend Riot, but it's not like it's Riot's own crypto betting economy. This is something that spawned up in the in the underbelly of the internet here. So it's betting on matches and throwing shit like that. But they've done nothing to stop it. Though I also, I can't think of how they'd effectively stop it. I don't know. That is kind of tough, to be honest. Happens in LoL, too. Is it as prevalent in LoL as it is in Valorant, though? Because Valorant's, like, legitimately unplayable from everything I've read about it. Like, every game you have someone throwing because of the betting. It's actually more prevalent in League. I'll take your word for it. Things are resub Vin and Holtz. Faker can't even play the game. Rough. Why do people keep betting on it then? I don't even understand. Because the only people that would profit are the people throwing. It's like you just... Well, actually, um, now I'm being fucking stupid. Uh, um, okay, never mind. I don't even know why I'm asking why people are betting on it. Now that, <laughs> now that I'm walking it through in my head. No, you're right. Why would other people be betting? Why would other people be betting on it if they're not on the throwing party? Well, that was my original thought. But the thing is, since everyone's throwing, you're still betting on someone you think is throwing. So you're just you're just gambling on basically a fifty fifty. But that was my thought too, because like if you don't know who's throwing in that game, why are you betting? You know someone is going to be throwing. So you're still just it's still just at the end of the day you're, you're doing a coin toss because it's, it's so prevalent. Thanks to tier one goat. What do I think is the solution? Like I said, I'm not smart enough to find a solution. I don't know how you stop that crypto betting shit. I, I think the only solution is exactly what... Tarek is proposing with the uh, custom lobbies of only invited players that you know aren't throwing so you can still do some high tier Valorant playing. That's really about it. Ban players involved? They do, don't they? You get banned for throwing. Is the resub sever? No, I don't think I ever actually. F well, no, I think I did finish it, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, Telltale games anymore. Is the resub Gooberry? Rhino sixty four about to do it. Is he on a crazy run right now? 
Where's he at? Oh, wait, he is on a crazy run, but it's not enough. <laughs> That's so sad. He did have a good run, though. You can't pass over. There's a gas I originally... Oh, man. Sub-26, though. Oh, you can't see the time. Sorry. Because I see my bad. But yeah, no, he, can't, he can't get it no matter what. Still a good run, though. Is there a sub generic puppy in the bits gears? No, I don't know anything else about EDP right now. He streams like every day though on TikTok. He's on the grind. Another quick text message. There was something that I caught a glimpse of earlier. Maybe chat knows more about it. What happened with all the esports layoffs today? I didn't look into it. I just saw it in passing. Is that something I should look into or is it kind of not a whole lot? I know like 100 Thieves had a lot of layoffs allegedly. 100, th 100 Thieves fired 30 people. These are some dazed weeaboo and sim. Is it just 100 Thieves though? Esports is dying. Esports is only growing, but these orgs are finally learning that this inflated value they've been working under is all just a load of baloney. These orgs have been growing way too big for their britches when they're not making any money, and now they're finally starting to feel it. Thanks the bits of bungie. Well, yeah, I just didn't know if it was like a cost thing or if something happened with all the layoffs. I, I was just wondering if it was anything deeper than that. Thanks to the bits, Armaday and Subi. What do you mean the solution, Armaday? No, I, I didn't even check the Golden Globes. I didn't know they were on today. Thanks to Resub, got them. How much longer till the challenge is done? 30 minutes. It's mainly the economy. No. In esports, people, like the higher ups, don't get it. They're just constantly hiring, growing without ever making money. It's just constantly losing money forever. In the hopes that they can sell for a huge 15x multiple or whatever. And when that doesn't happen, well, they're just left with their dick in their hand and a ton of fucking money. Or, and, and losing a ton of money. So now, these orgs are finally starting to see, like, okay, we can't just continuously <laughs> just lose all of this massive, massive, massive amount of money. Moist Esports does have a sponsor. It's Opera GX. Not as sustainable as they thought. I really think most orgs just thought that they could eventually be able to sell it for that massive multiple a lot of them work under. Like, for example, TSM got a $250 million deal with FTX. Like, that's a huge payday for them. But then that all turned out to be bogus. and They got fucked hard because of FTX. You know how that story goes. It's just... They grow, lose money forever in the hopes that that massive multiple that for some reason like investments give them, they hope that they can make that fat chunk at the end. Thanks the Prime Cardi. 
Is Ouija on another crazy run? No shot. He got a good cone skip, it seems. Or at least a decent cone skip. We'll, hit, we'll see if he hits Mansion. Thanks, Eri, sub Bernie. Do they need to submit the runs? No, they can run all the way up till midnight. They cannot start any runs after midnight, though. That's a that's official. So they still have thirty minutes to do some yeah, runs. Sidestep me, little bastard. Those key taps, though, so precise. Oh, Ouija's been so clean with it. Right, let's and sketch. he's world record holder right now. He had a thirty or a twenty-five thirty-two. We watched it live. So right now he's first place. He's got to hold it for 30 more minutes and he's still grinding out runs just to be safe. Apparently it's not fun. What happened? Oh no, it's stuck. That's tragic. Runs alive, let's go. He should just go for China skip just for the fuck it. This hits, I'm deleting my channel. I mean, that looks really good. That might just hit. Okay. Nah. At least it failed. Damn. That would have been kind of cool if he did China skip after that as well. Chinatown skip. Were people hiding strats for last day? Nope. You gonna have a max party on RuneScape? Yep. Yeah, Ouija is the current record holder. Why don't you stream RuneScape? Because no one wants to watch me fucking grind Slayer. That's why I don't stream it. This is the bits teach on. I can check that out, teach on, but not tonight. I do. All you goddamn liars say that, and then the second I turn on RuneScape, it's nothing but whining and resident sleepers. I already know how this shit goes. You're just gaslighting me into doing it so I look like a goddamn idiot. I already know it. Slayer is very slow. It's it's only going to be like bursting and then asking chat to help me finish the non-burstable task quicker so that way I don't have to waste points skipping. You guys are going to be like, oh, this fucking sucks. He's just doing the same tasks over and over again. Bro, we watched you raid WoW last night. Y you guys are legitimately delusional if you think somehow WoW raids are more tedious than RuneScape skilling. That is a whole different beast. Both are boring if you're not into the game. Yeah, the difference is, though, at least World of Warcraft has a lot of shit going on. The reason why it becomes Resident Sleeper for some people is just because there's so much happening that it's just incomprehensible if you don't play it. Or if you do play it, it's like, oh, I already know how all this goes. RuneScape, though, I'm literally doing one thing for 200 hours. The same thing for 200 hours. And it doesn't change. I'm 
Sometimes they reset Bugsy. Why oh, play it then? Because I'm so deep I have to max my account. I'm on my last skill. And I thought I'd like Slayer a lot more than I do. There's just so many shit tasks that I can't afford to waste points on to skip to get to the better ones. So it's it's been rough. It's been hard to stay motivated. But I will max it for sure. It's just not as quick as I would have liked. I'm at 95, so we're almost there. I have already used all my blocks. I wish they'd add like four more blocks and then I'd be a happy Boy Scout. Thanks for your some pork in the prime super and there's some beans. Is it 95, like 50%? No, that's 92. I'm well over half at 95. Is he the Popeyes kid got a scholarship from Popeyes? I don't know what you're talking about. Which was the most boring skill to level? It's not even close. Agility. Agility is the most miserable thing I've ever done in a video game ever. I've never been so miserable as when I was grinding agility in RuneScape. Thanks, Resub Carl. Runecrafting wasn't bad because of Guardians of the Rift, you can just AFK it. Mining wasn't bad because Motherload Mine, you can just AFK it. Agility, you can't do that at all. I fucking hated it. I can't believe I actually pushed through and finished it. He's a bit synth. Yep, we just looked at Big Mode's first game. There's a Prime Xeno. You think you'll ever make profit on Moist Esports? Uh, hopefully eventually. But that's not the goal with it. The goal is content, and the content is so fucking fire. Rocket League starts up again soon, baby. And we have Genesis on January 20th for Smash. Then we have our Moist Apex at LAN in February. We got a lot of good shit around the corner. Who's replacing Rise? You'll have to wait and see on Twitter. We'll post the announcement pretty soon. You sad Rise left? Well, of course, man. But he he wanted to go elsewhere. So just wishing him the best. Thanks for resub DJ. Probably still going to disappoint with Last of Us on HBO. I'm going in with lower expectations, but yeah, those reviews are pretty surprising that it's all like 10 out of 10s. Thanks to the bits, bubs.
Yeah, CSGO is an uh, esport we really want to be in, but that's just a really expensive one. And a lot more needs to go into it. Is the resub Milenu? Eighteen minutes. That's right, eighteen minutes left. Is Distortion on a good run right now? He is on a pretty good run right now. It'll all be about this mansion skip. Or er, mansion launch. As it always is. Bro, what am I doing? Oh, I'm fucking around. Oh, God. Dude, fuck it's... you, car. All right, I'll try to save it with low FPS. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, he's boned. I don't think he saves this. I don't think he can. Oh no. Fuck off, bro. Oh, that is tragic. Thanks to give some taco. That's a mock for you. God, that's so tragic. What? Thanks to give sub. Oh, not taco. Rotato. He can go again. Oh, yeah, no, no. He, he can probably still get. If he goes deep, two more runs. If he doesn't go deep, quite a few. But yeah, no, he, he still has plenty of time for a couple, handful more runs. He saved it. No shot, he saved it. What? Oh, I gotta reset. It looks like he did save it, but then missed the log. Some space sent me that one, Fate. He made that one. He made that emote, I believe. Ouija on Mansion launch again. What a crazy night he's having for these runs. Like, he dialed in. I paid 1200 for all the new parts I added. Kept the 3080. Is it Prime Sharp? Mansion launch is the hardest part by far, but there's two other places that is can end your run. On our side? Let's find out. You can have a bad cock launch. Like if you don't get cock launch first try, you might as well just reset right then and there because you don't really have a chance. And then you can also miss cone launch, the cone skip. It's whatever. So there is just so many places that you can lose your run early. Kind of appreciate the car was just facing the other way, but I mean, you know, what can you do? That's a time loss. Just hitting that rock is going to be like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> you, man got a mocked. What the fuck? Oh, that's dead. This game is so stupid. Unlucky. That shit fell apart. Thanks to the resub. Declan and the bits again. Hub, uh, bubs and the resub DJ.
Which role do you mainly need in your wild raids? No, we have a really strong raiding group. I don't think we need anything. <laughs> Is your Valen on mansion skip right now? Or mansion launch? Oh, he's practicing it, right? Oh, no, no, he's in the beginning. I looked at the timer and thought that said 9 for some he's still reason. Here. I mean, I don't have anything against Envious. He's fine. Where's the leaderboards? Right here, but uh, they're not updated yet. The new the runs that were submitted today aren't here yet. So Distortion was second, and then Bob Toad came out of fucking nowhere and dropped a heater twenty five thirty five I think it was, which then pushed Ouija out. So then it was Zach Bob Toad Distortion in third. Then Ouija came out today. We watched it live and dropped a fucking disgusting twenty five thirty two. So then it was Ouija Zach Bob Toad and it pushed out Distortion. Zach is second right now. Thanks for resub, Darth. And Bob Toad is third. Thanks for resub, Bami. Er, Bami. Is there still prize for second and third? Yeah, so first place gets six grand, second place gets 2.5, and third gets 1.5. Yeah, no, no, like I said, these aren't updated. So Distortion's run isn't there. Have I completed a run yet? No, this is legitimately, without exaggeration, the hardest speedrun I've ever done. Because so much of it relies on inhuman precision, and even then still a very real element of RNG. I'm not kidding. I would argue... Everyone in the top 10, I would say, I would comfortably say, everyone here in the top 10 has probably collectively, each or each one of them has probably put over 100, maybe 120 hours into the game since this started. Maybe even more for some. Thanks for your subject dive. Yep, ten minutes left. Hey, hold on. Let me let me go pee real quick before we hit the the final countdown. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Uh, eight minutes. He's a tier one blame in the resub Bilbo. Who's on a promising run right now? Anyone? Distortion just reset. Ouija's going cone skip right now. Things resub smelly. You get a moist meter, puss in boots. I was going to, and then just ended up not. I really should have, though. The movie's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I think I timed that right. Is it seven minutes to start or finish? Finish. This has been two weeks. Uh, That's not enough. Yeah, it didn't make it. Alright. Where's Zach? Zach's on cone skip. Who else is coned up right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny. If someone's on a run after the deadline, will it count? Yes, they just cannot start a run after midnight. If they're on a run at the beat, like after midnight, if they're still on a run, they can finish it, of course. The clutchest run of all time. I don't know if that makes it. This might hmm. work. Oh, wait. No way. <laughs> that was perfect. Guys, the car isn't stuck, I think. I can't tell. <laughs> That's up. Imagine I get plank here. <laughs> Thanks to the resub asses. I'm focused, fellas, here, don't worry. That was a huge cone. Oh, I'll be truly focused if flank works. But also, like, I'm, it's, like, not even a great run anyway. I, need, I would need to, like, do a moist skip at the end or some shit. Which would be hype. I'd love to see the world record actually use <laughs> my skip. This is so it, It's just too risky. What so no one does it. It's a five-second luck-based time thing. Disagree, Bungie. <laughs> oh, he's a tier one lamb. Oh, he's using me. The record after deadline with Moist Skip would be yeah, exactly. that would be I've been wild. Trying to throw on the last unlock run ever. No, it's fine. I got time for another one. Thanks for reset. Like fails, I got time. On. I'm like, don't even worry about it. Show yourself, coward. Uh, Who was scared? Who was scared? Who was scared? Does the skip actually work if you do it at the end? Yeah, of course it does. Once you go through all the objectives, it'll save you about five seconds to do my skip. <laughs> but it's uh, pretty brutal. It's not reliable. Percent chance I get past plank, okay? Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Wait, what if my game crashes here? How funny would that be? Yeah, I found the skip. 
That was the skip that started the uh, the speed run. I found it while just playing the game and searching for my own glitches. And then I thought it could translate really well to speed running. I thought there'd be potential. So it ended up getting called moist skip. Gold. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Exit tier one. What the fuck? Kebab. Oh, it's perfect! <laughs> If he hits plank, if he hits plank on the first try, this is gonna be nuts. If he doesn't hit it here, he'll have just enough time for one more run. Oh, he's just fucking letting it rip! No! Oh! Wait, this is nutty. Yeah, Zach's gonna go fucking silent right now, I bet. He overshot it! No, no, please. I can't please, believe he did. Fuck. What a throw. What a, what a throw. I threw. What a throw. Do Chinatown. Do, do Chinatown launch. Just do Chinatown launch. You ha you have to do Chinatown launch here. He can't reset anymore, so he's gonna have to do Chinatown launch. I'm not doing Chinatown launch, man. You he has to! <laughs> Moist skip won't be enough. Oh, I'll have to wait till after this split here. I don't think Moist Skip will be enough. Well, Ouija did kind of flounder on final boss. He lost like, what was it, eight seconds? Maybe. Have to do moist skip. That's all. Maybe moist skip will be enough. It'll be very close. That's all I need. That moist skip might be the difference between might be a difference of thirty five hundred dollars. That's a thirty five hundred dollar glitch right there. I really don't. I promise you, I don't have to do it because it's gonna fail for sure. Don't go emote only. No, fix it. Fix it. Do yep. not do emote only, man. It's way too early. No more runs. Four. It's midnight. Six. Zero. Everyone's on their last run right now. I'm not gonna reset this run, man. Well, you can't. There's no time to reset it. Man, if he just didn't throw on that mansion launch, holy fuck. I still just don't think Moist Skip will be enough. I really don't. Unless he has a perfect uh, boss fight. Me. And he just funny. threw. <laughs> uh that now there's What's no shot point, guys <laughs> you have to do chinatown launch <laughs> oh no you have to do chinatown launch never happened to me before all right it's fine it's fine moist skips no that's not enough it's not enough you need to come with me hurry i'm not doing chinatown tell this to everybody can you tell me what's happening here please don't ask questions and just get in the car or else it might be too late we'll see we'll see Okay, I I don't think hitting moist skip will be enough here. I have to like clutch up hard. It's fine. No, dude, don't go emote only. I'll just stop reading it. Fix it. She, where is she? He hasn't hit Chinatown once. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why he won't do Chinatown. Thanks, the Prime Tiger. 
We'll, we'll see how clutch Moist Skip is, but again, that's only like a five second save. Yeah, we were just going over the WWE stuff with the, the buyout. Plus, he might still throw on this bridge up here. Thanks, you sub Chase. That car is going to be my way. Oh, maybe not. I think I get in front of it. Never mind. It's fine, guys. It's not even bad. Could be worse, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, that was bad. See that lag spike? So when you're when the game lag spikes, your car just turns full speed. It Distortion crazy, out. Probably, so. Damn, did he miss Chinatown? He missed the Chinatown launch. I'm getting PC gapped. No, it's it's totally not salvageable at this point. Damn. I'm pretty sure. I'll finish it. Kind of hype though. <laughs> if he hits it here, I think he still has a chance though. That is so weird. This. Oh. Bit, <laughs> All right. Hey Jerry, thank you for the sub. <laughs> and Paper Yang, thank you for oh, the five lucky. Damn. Distortion was second going into today. The movement from today was crazy. I tried my hardest there. Ouija and Bob Toad squeaking out big ones. Bob Toad with crazy movement. Going from 15th to 2nd. Well, no longer 2nd. Now he's 3rd, but yeah. Oh my god. When's the last time I made it to this puzzle? Bob Toad's on a god on a god run right now. Is he really? It's not possible. Where's Bob Toad at? It's not amazing, but if he hits Mansion first try, then yeah, then we've got something. All right, if he gets this mansion launch, we might have something pretty big here. Oh, I don't know if I need to reload there. I saw the car. It's actually, I might. No, I, that's I it. Can't do log skip. This yeah. Is unsavable. Yeah, it's fucked. GG. Unlucky. They're all they're all falling apart. It's up to Zach. But Bob Toad is third place. I don't think anyone overtook him. So he still gets 1.5k, assuming no one comes out of the woodwork here and squeaks out something crazy. I need to hurry. She's dying. I'm over 10 behind PB. A spectacore on cone right now. The run is dead. Oh my god, I just watched the choke live. Oh no. Everyone's falling apart. <laughs> oh no. Bowling and Moist would not even save it. Yeah, like I said, he was going to need Chinatown. He's too far. I have not practiced it, but I have a bind for 2 FPS. So. <laughs> he, well. Might as well, right? So, what he's talking about with bowling is that car boost I mentioned. <laughs> I wonder I, if I he hits car boost into Moist. Strats. Fast chase strats here. <laughs> It's, uh, sorry to get everyone hyped, but I killed it. <laughs> I don't know, man. If he does actually get that car boost, I think that can save like 10 seconds. So good boss fight, good car boost, and moist skip. I think he'd squeak it out by like two seconds. I'm leaving everything behind. Thanks, Resub Starshine. That sucks. My boost is like 
Oh my, I've never, I haven't even had a boost that good in practice. And I, I just threw because I overshot. It was, it's so hard to see when in the map, or the FOV goal goes all inverted. No, Ouija's first place now. It's Ouija, Zach, Bob, Toad. That's the top three as of right now. I don't think any other runs came in in the time that I've been streaming besides those. So that's top three at the Second moment. Second ever boost is the last volleyball run right now. <clears throat> Dude, I, I ruined the storybook ending. I choked it. You almost caught him. <laughs> Thanks, the resub render. I haven't done this in a while. Careful. He's so optimal. Don't let him escape. This game is zero out of 100 good. Everyone blowing loads. There is still a chance. Oh my god, and he just choked so fucking hard. GG's. He opened map too late. Eek. Alright. <laughs> I'll double check. I, I think first is Ouija, second place Zach, third place Bob Toad. Let me double check. I think those will be your finals. Yes. And then fourth place was Distortion. Distortion just fucking missed it. Just fucking missed it. No, Zach isn't first place. Ouija stole it. Ouija got a 25-32. He beat it by one second. We watched it live. Spicy's fifth. I believe Spicy... Or, nope. Yeah, Spicy's fifth. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone beat the twenty-five fifty-one from Spicy outside of uh, the four I mentioned. So yeah, Spicy got fifth. Looks like there's some me effect and RuneScape. Is anyone else in a run? Uh, I feel like chat would have told me, and if they were, they'd be at the very end right now, so we'd know. Plus, it looks like most of them already switched category. So yeah, I think that was the last person still in a run. Damn, what a what a competition. That movement at the end. Ouija had a crazy fucking day. Yep, that concludes it. So I'll post a video on all of it tomorrow. Uh, and then two weeks from there, we'll have the Summoning Salt video. It's not like actually Summoning Salt doing it. I, it's just heavily inspired by the Summoning Salt format. So about two weeks from tomorrow, hopefully we'll have that out. And then after that gets posted, the next bounty will begin. Hopefully it won't be like Amok. I'm hoping the next one we choose is a lot more... Less... Depressing. I don't know the right word. Like, less agonizing... <laughs> I think. Yeah, I don't know what the next bounty is going to be. We'll figure it out. But it is, it is again going to be a game no one has ever heard of and has obviously never played except for me. So, enjoy, enjoy the freedom from Amok. And then if you want to hop back in the Crucible, we'll have another bounty ready for you to tackle. And yeah, like I said, next one, it's going to be the 10k split from first, second, and third, split across first, second, and third. And I'm also introducing a new one, which is $1,000 to whoever finds the most impactful glitch in the speed run. That'll be decided by the community, like whoever figures out the biggest glitch that saves the most time, we'll get $1,000. I want to incentivize people to, like, actually hunt for strats. Even if they're not the best runner, I want people to be hunting for it to actively push the game. So I think that'll be fun.
maybe pick a cheap or free game. It's not going to be a double uh, A or sorry, a triple A game or anything. It's not going to be a sixty dollar retail full pri- full price game. That's unreasonable. It'll absolutely still be like cheap Steam shit that no one's ever played. Is there sub Carnage and Nico and Me Effect? Next competition will be. I don't want to put a hard date on it because it depends on when we get the Summoning Salt style video done, but it'll be about two weeks and maybe some change from now. Thanks for the resub snack. Thanks for the bits, Biggie and resub Chloe. How will you announce it? I'll do another video on it. Someone did the math and Ouija made $31 an hour. Hey, that ain't bad though. That is a hard earned 31 an hour. That's pretty fucking good actually. Thanks to Risa, Bits, and Bonk. Man, Zach though, he got beat right at the end by a single second. <laughs> Ouija squeaked out a little stinker right at the end. Don't times have to be verified? Yeah, I don't think anyone pulled the wool over our eyes. I, I I imagine they will be confirmed, like, authentic. But yeah, there is still that that section. Imagine the drama if it turns out Bob, Toad, or Ouija faked their run somehow. But yeah, I, I don't envision that happening. Is the resub ZTG. And the bits... Friendly in the resub sauce. Ouija interview? If he wants. He doesn't have to, though. It's up to him. Yeah, if he wants to. Do any of the runs have Moist Skip in it? No. It was too much of a gamble for anyone to actually use it on a potential world record run, so none of the top runs, at least not to my knowledge, have it. Certainly not in the top three, but I don't think anything even in the top five have it. Because it was just kind of a gamble. He said he's down? Okay. What's your Discord? Actually, I'll message you on Twitter. Wait, what's your Twitter? Who won? Assuming everything's by the books, no fishy business, it's Ouija. It's super Ouija? Oh, there it is. You should look at Chex Quest. I know Chex Quest. Don't bother suggesting a game for the next bounty because if it's a game you've heard of, I can assure you that's not what's going to be chosen. I am choosing games legitimately nobody has ever heard of in their fucking life. 
Like before this, I guarantee none of you have ever even heard of a mock runner on Steam. And I think that's what makes it so fucking fun. I'm adding you right now, Ouija. Is there a capital in there? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Will it be something you find on Bad Game Night? Perhaps. Who knows? I'm not giving any clues. I just added you. Things that resub soul. Hey, hey. Congratulations on the big dub tonight. Thank you, sir. You were on another fucking plane. You had so many runs go deep. Yeah, like, man, every time you hit that mansion launch, you land and then your, your hands are shaking all over the place. And <laughs> it was so adorable. Just hope, not, just hope not to clutch the one that I got. Yeah, I mean, that was a nutty run. Even though Boss was a little sloppy, that shit was still so beautiful. But when you were running, like, when you were making your lines there, we could actually see the camera, like, jittering around. Yeah. Like, the nerves were definitely there. Yeah, gotta squeeze the mouse so tight. So, walk me through the experience of AMOC. Is this now in, like, your top ten favorite games? Like, what what do you think? What do you take away from this experience? Hmm. You see, I never actually played it casually. Like... Hmm. I installed the game after the announcement was made and like went to mess them with your glitch at first and then like I started playing through it casually and then I got to the part where the guy chases you back to your house and I, wow. I literally just like could not figure out what to do there and just I just gave up and speed ran the whole game so casually I don't know if I can speak for it very positively I, I wouldn't happen to know but speed run wise it's pretty exciting and pretty sick just <laughs> kind of playing the lottery most of the time yeah it's like a little slot machine when it comes to the glitches which i think is both a headache but also something very special with memories that'll last a lifetime and now that it's over you can go back and play it casually you can get the you can collect the ammo now you can get the whole lore which i imagine you're excited yeah I, for. I can't wait for the new updates and the mm -hmm. new side quests hopefully some customer character customization oh yeah the whole kit and caboodle i think so is this a one and done thing? Or are you going to be looking to participate in further bounties? Because I'm going to try and make this like a at least once a month kind of deal. Yeah, I'll definitely do the more bounties because I've been kind of just burnt out of other stuff. And I like just competing in random games. You know, they go. Sounds really fun. Well, fuck yeah. Hopefully we can keep this level of intensity going. I really hope the ones going forward aren't as RNG as this one because I think that was a big turnoff for a lot of people. So, uh, ideally, the next one's a little smoother and you won't be banging your head against the wall for 35-hour streams. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks because you, you can't really tell if it's going to be random or annoying until you actually start investing time into it. And you're like, oh, wow, there's this random, insane collision glitch I could have never seen coming up. So it doesn't look like it'd be a very random game when it's just like a walking straight line story game. And then, That's what I thought, too. Know. And then it has this like deep checkpoint system where you can't sequence break, which completely changed the course of how this all played out. Yeah. Well, a big congrats again. If there's anything you want to shout out, now's the time. You've earned this. I apparently someone did the math. You made thirty one dollars an hour off of mm, playing a bot. Um. Well, great job to all the other runners and the community and stuff for finding the strats. Um. It's. There's too many people to even name that did all the strats and keep track of it. Uh, shout out to Zach. I bopped him by only one second, and he probably deserved it just as much as I did. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a fun time. I'm kind of I'm gonna miss grinding it. Oh fuck yeah, man! Well, two weeks from now, roughly, we'll have another one for you to get real invested in. Dope. All right, man. Well, you have a great rest of your evening. You're six k richer, assuming you didn't pull the wool over our eyes with some kind of. <laughs> hocus pocus and cheating somehow but yeah man good shit thank you sir 
Right, take it easy. You see you. That was so fucking fun, man. I'm so glad we got to watch the world record winner at the end. That's that was that was fucking storybook. I think first, second, and third. I could be wrong because I don't see Bob Toads yet, even in the Discord. I think first, second, and third were separated by only two seconds. So that could that legitimately couldn't have been closer. I'm pretty sure Bob Toads was a 25-35. But I can't, I don't know for sure. I'm just, I'm, I'm like 90% sure. It was a 2537. It was a 2537. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I thought it, I thought it was a little closer. That's really rough for distortion because I think his was a 2538. So he got bopped by one second as well. Unlucky. How many hours did he play? Oh, I should have asked. Wait. Fuck, yeah, I'd really like to know how many hours the top five have in AMOC. I, I really do think it's well north of 100. He said it's 192. 192? Oh my god! I wonder who had the, the most hours. It's definitely going to be between Distortion, Ouija, Zack, Spicy, and maybe, I don't, I don't know if Bob Toad would actually be in there. Probably Bob Toad, I would say. But maybe Trey as well. Trey grinded so fucking hard too. I wonder who has the most. Dravalin also up there. True. How many hours did Dravalin have in it? Spicy had 2.05. God damn. That's 14 hours a day for two weeks. <laughs> you bet your sweet bippy. And, and you had to, man. This game was so fucking brutal. That was the only goddamn way. Earn that like a motherfucker. Is the content over now? The competition's over. I'll post a video going over the the winner as well as future plans. Two weeks from then will be the summoning salt video, and then we run it again with a new bounty, new game. So, yep, that's where the AMOC run concludes. Will you do an attempt? I did. I tried for two days. I couldn't finish a single run. What about the runners who don't stream and just submitted their runs? I don't think anyone did. So that's what I was looking for. I don't think anyone submitted any faster runs from people who don't stream. I do think I will, going forward say that they should all be streamed just to really make sure everything's above board plus all of the top runners stream it anyway Yeah, I don't think anything faster got submitted elsewhere. No, I don't know what we're going to do now. Maybe play some shit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the rest of the stream. I just definitely wanted to see the conclusion there. And we got to witness the 
first place run live. Will the next game be shorter? Who knows? I'm choosing games no one's ever played. Could be shorter, could be longer. Ideally, shorter. I, I always really like the crazy optimized super fast ones, which this does kind of fall into with the 25 minute range. But yeah, ideally I'd like it to be an even faster run, but could be longer. No one really knows. I don't even know yet.